Hey everybody, Spiro here from WP Society. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a Bloom opt-in form pop up when you click a button. What you see on the screen will be a final result that we are aiming for. But before we go into it, I just want to invite you to join WP Society. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell to get access to step-by-step -step daily videos that are easy to follow, teaching you how to fix, build and create magic with WordPress. And now let's go. Let me show you how I managed to create a Bloom opt-in form pop up on click. Alright guys, we are now inside my computer and over at spirokovac.com and that's my personal uh, website that I'm using for tutorials. So on this one, um, I have created this uh, particular blog post earlier and now I actually want to show you how to add uh, a button that will activate a pop-up in this particular post. So what we're going to do, let's, uh, let's start by enable Visual Builder. And once you're inside your builder, all you want to do is uh, you want to scroll down a little bit and then up just a second and find a place where you want to add your own uh, where you're going to add your own button. So let's say that after this zone here where I'm sharing some CSS code, I want to add a button. So I'm going to click on this uh, plus icon and then I'm going to type button. I'm going to add a button and let's align to center and let's give this button a class. I'm going to give this button CSS class DV4 pop-up and then I'm going to click save and then I'm going to save this particular post. This is live on the website, but this website uh, doesn't have that much traffic. So I hope nobody will see this. And then we're going to go into the dashboard and we want to go into the Bloom settings. Now hover over Bloom and go to opt-in forms. And now here you want to go and click new opt-in and you want to select uh, pop-up opt-in and now just give it a name DV4 pop-up and you need to select your email provider. Guys, I strongly recommend you to, you know, you have your autoresponder and email service with Aweber. I found they have the best deliverability. If you don't have an account with Aweber as of yet, uh, just uh, register, you can register using my link and that will help me make more tutorials. Uh, if you do so, just type spirokovac.com forward slash Aweber and then that will take you to an Aweber where you can register for your Aweber account. Uh, if you do so, I'll get a tiny commission and that will help me run this channel uh, on a long term. So I would be really thankful if you do so. Anyway. If you use any other software, just uh, select any software you use and then you'll have to connect this particular website with your list, with your first video account and then with your email list. So I'll select my account and then I'll select one of these lists and I'll just select the Spiro Kovac because this one is on Spiro Kovac. And then click next. And then here in design options, you can select any of the Bloom designs. I've created some custom designs uh, which will be available uh, to download for free shortly on my channel. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to select the first design and let's continue next. And then here we can select all these details that we need, but let's just leave everything by default. So our pop-up will look like this. So go to display settings and in display settings, you can select uh, other details about the bloom, but I'm not going to go through them. As I said, I want to do it quickly. So what I prefer for my uh, opt-ins is I activate the trigger after delay of uh, seven seconds and I found it really useful. And then also I found that slide down works the best. Intro animation slide down works the best. Also, I'm going to tick this off and you want to trigger it on click. So click here to trigger on click and then click selector string that will activate this uh, pop-up. So that is a CSS that we wrote earlier. So just give me a sec. So here you want to add a string, which means you need to include dot and DV4 pop-up. And if you do so, one last thing that you want to do is you want to select on which pages or posts this will activate. So if you select everything, it will activate everywhere where you have DV4 pop-up uh, CSS class on an element. But for example, if you want this particular pop-up to activate only on your page, you're going to disable all this and then you're going to just select on these pages. And it was a, it was a blog post. So we're going to select on these posts and we want, and that was a, how to create a landing page for Clickbank, right? So we're going to select this one and then we're going to say, 
was that the page yes that was a page and then we're gonna click next and do you want to this pop up take you to success page or you want to redirect the url now it's completely up to you you can send a success message or you can redirect to url i prefer redirecting to url whether you're redirecting to affiliate offer or you're redirecting to thank you page where you're gonna keep educating people about or, or let them know what they can expect. For purposes of this tutorial, we can leave it on success message and click save and exit. All right, guys, let's load this page and let's scroll down. And now guys, if you click on this click here button, it will load our pop-up and it's fully working. As I said at the beginning, no stress, it's working with the DV4. Now, before I knock off, I just wanna ask you one more question. Would you like to know how to create a full-time passive income? Quit your nine to five and then your freedom, which is what I'm doing right now. Check the link below in the description of this video right now. And I'm going to show you my number one most recommended opportunity online. So go check that link right now and I'll get that information to you right away. With that being said, guys, we got to the end of this video one more time. If you like what you've seen, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell and share with community because on this channel, there'll be more and more DV related tutorials. And um, if you want to learn more, make sure you check the cards on the right hand side. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again.